let us discuss this example so in this example we have a function which is defined on close interval 0 comma 2 and we have to find its upper sum upf where the partition of close interval 0 comma 2 is given here okay so our first task is to draw graph of that function so let us draw the graph of that function what we have our function has three different definitions for three different domains let us consider the first definition f of x is equal to x square normally we replace by f of, f of x by y so we have y is equal to x square getting so power of y is 1 power of x is 2 so 100 percent it, it represents a parabola power of y is 1 so that's why parabola is symmetric about y axis y has a plus sign so symmetric about positive y axis okay so parabola will be like this so the parabola which is symmetric about positive y axis that means it opens in upward direction getting so it's a standard parabola it passes through this point zero zero origin so let us draw this parabola but the condition is we have to draw the parabola only for that domain getting zero comma one that interval we need to consider and we have to draw parabola only for that interval what is the starting point you can easily put x is equal to zero so we'll have y is equal to zero so this is the starting point of parabola getting so and what is the ending point so i'm putting one here huh? if i put x is equal to one y is also equal to one so the ending point is one comma one 1 comma 1 will be here so we have to draw parabola okay so you are familiar with this parabola which is symmetric about positive y axis okay and which is only for this interval see i have not drawn for point 1 getting i have not drawn for point 1 since x is strictly less than 1 that means if x is less than 1 and it is greater than or equal to 0 so for that region only we have to draw parabola getting the point entire parabola is like this but i am drawing just that part of part of parabola which is in this domain 0 comma 1 let us go further at x is equal to 1 we have f of x is equal to 2 so the second is y is equal to 2 it is a fixed point getting so x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 so we get a single point so it is here x1 and y2 right let us go further now for x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 2 okay so what is the definition of f of x 2x minus 1 i am replacing f of x by y so y is equal to 2x minus 1 power of y is 1 power of x is also 1 so it represents a straight line so when we have a straight line we draw such type of table to find any two points on a line so x y and x y so normally we find out starting and ending point of that line segment one okay so starting point is one ending point is two so let us put x is equal to one here what will happen two minus uh, two into one two minus one one so the starting point is one comma one ending point i am putting two here four minus one three so ending point is two comma three okay one comma one it is here and two comma three 2 comma 3 will be here right starting point is here ending point is here let us join them let us join them okay so you as you can see there is a gap getting there is a gap you are getting since x is strictly less than 1 x is not equal to 1 so that's why we cannot draw that uh, line for x is equal to 1 okay so uh, what i want to say for 0 to 1 we have a parabola part of parabola for 1 to 2 we have a straight line getting and at x is equal to 1 we have a single point 2 so this is a graph of given function okay so this uh, given curve we have so make a screenshot of it after that we will go further okay so this is a partition we have okay so this is the starting point we denote it by x0 x1 x2 x3 and x4 right so because of this partition okay let us consider partition here 0 1 by 2 1 3 by 2 and 2 so because of this partition this region will be divided in these four parts okay let me draw it properly so we'll have like this this is a rough sketch getting so the region is divided in four parts so we have to find upper sum now so for upper sum delta x i is required let us calculate delta x i first i will calculate delta x1 its formula is x1 minus x0 so 1 by 2 minus 0 which is 1 by 2 delta x2 which is x2 minus x1 x2 is 1 x1 is 1 by 2 so it is again 1 by 2 delta x3 its formula is x3 minus x2 what is my x3 
थ्री बाई टू एक्स टू एक्स टू इज वन राइट सो इट इज वन बाई टू नेक्स्ट डेल्टा एक्स फोर लेट एस फाइन डेल्टा एक्स फोर फॉर्मुला इज एक्स फोर माइनस एक्स थ्री एक्स फोर मीन्स लास्ट पॉइंट विच इज टू एक्स थ्री इज थ्री बाई टू सो वन बाई टू सो वट आई वॉन्ट टू से ऑल डेल्टा एक्स आईज आर वन बाई टू वी हैव गॉट हियर वन बाई टू वन बाई टू वन बाई टू ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट कैपिटल एम वन कैपिटल एम टू कैपिटल एम थ्री एंड कैपिटल एम फोर सो लेट एस फाइन डेट जस्ट बिफोर दैट मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट लेट एस फॉलो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कैपिटल एम आई कैपिटल एम वन इज सुप्रीम ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स वेयर एक्स लाइज इन फर्स्ट इंटरवल ओके सो जीरो कॉमा वन बाई टू सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेयर द फंक्शन एज अ मैक्सिम वैल्यू एंड दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स वी वॉन्ट यू सी एज यू कैन सी हियर इन इंटरवल जीरो कॉमा वन बाय टू ओके इन दिस इंटरवल दिस फंक्शन इज इंक्रीजिंग and a function reaches to its maximum value at x is equal to 1 by 2 so that's why uh, capital m1 will be f of 1 by 2 since at point 1 by 2 the function has a maximum value getting f of 1 by 2 so f has three different definition so which definition we have to follow see we are in this interval 0 comma 1 by 2 right 1 by 2 that means 1 by 2 lies in this interval so i should follow the first definition or in a diagram also you can say See in the diagram we have a parabola. So in equation of parabola we need to put its value. So I'm putting one by two here at a place of x. So one by two square, which is one by four. So what is value of capital M one? One by four. Let us find capital M two. So uh, we have a same definition, but we have a second interval here. One by two and one. See where the function has a maximum value. See you know that function is increasing. But at point one, function reaches to its maximum value, and which is directly two we have. Okay, so let us let me write that thing. That means f of one. So at point one, function has a maximum value, and its maximum value is two. Or in a definition also, you can see x is equal to one, then f of x is two. That means at one, function has maximum value, which is two. Let us go further. M three. Will you tell me the definition of M three? Same. Supremum of f of x. We should consider consider the next interval. One less than or equal to x less than or equal to three by two. See in this interval, you may get confused since at one you have a while value directly two, and in this interval function is increasing. So at three by two also function has a maximum value. So we don't know which is a maximum value. This two is maximum, or at three by two we are reaching to. Some additional value we don't know. Okay, so what will we do? We will find uh, the value at three by two, and let us see which one is larger. See, I'm finding here f of three by two. Okay, so I'm considering at three by two function as a maximum value, right? So f of three by two. Which definition we have to follow? We are in this interval, so one less than x less than two. So I should follow the last definition. Getting now? So as you can see here, we have a straight line for this region. So I should co consider the equation of straight line. So f of three by two is equal to I'm putting x is equal to three by two two three by two minus one. So what will happen? Two two will get cancelled. Three minus one, which is two. So here at three by two function has value two, and in one also function has value two. So that means at this corner function has value two. At that corner also it is two. So maximum is obviously two. That is correct. Let us go further. M four. Okay. Let me write here. M four. We have a space. Let us use. M four M four is equal to supremum of definition says f of x. We have to consider the next interval, which is the last interval. So three by two less than or equal to x less than or equal to two. So as you can see here, the function is increasing. Okay, and function reaches to its maximum value at two. So I should mention here f of two. Okay, so we are following the equation of straight line for this domain. Getting. For this domain, the one comma one uh, two. So we are following this definition. So I have to use, I have to put x is equal to two here. Let us see. So two two minus one four minus one three. So f of m four is three. So m one is one by four. Okay. M two is two. M three is two, and m four is three. So these values we are going to use to find our UPF. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. Let us find UPF. Its definition is summation capital M I delta X I R running from one to four only since we have partition four. Okay, so let us expand it. So I am putting I is equal to one M one delta X one right. I am putting I is equal to two 
एम टू डेल्टा एक्स टू आई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम थ्री डेल्टा एक्स थ्री आई इज इक्वल टू फोर एम फोर डेल्टा एक्स फोर लेट एस पुट वैल्यूज नाउ एम वन आई थिंक एम वन वॉज वन बाय फोर गेटिंग डेल्टा एक्स वन वॉज वन बाय टू एम टू टू डेल्टा एक्स टू वन बाय टू राइट सो ऑल डेल्टा एक्स आईज वी हैड गॉट वन बाय टू राइट एम टू एम थ्री एम थ्री वॉज टू डेल्टा एक्स थ्री वॉज वन बाय टू एम फोर वॉज थ्री एंड डेल्टा एक्स फोर इज वन बाय टू सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई वी हैव टू एड सो वॉट विल आई डू वन बाय टू इज कॉमन हियर ओके सो वी कैन टेक इट आउटसाइड सो वन बाय टू सो वी विल हैव वन बाय फोर प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस थ्री सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू इन टू यू यू कैन एड हियर वन बाय फोर सो टू प्लस टू प्लस थ्री वी विल हैव सेवन राइट सो दिस इज इक्वल टू यू कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वन बाय टू इन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन बाय फोर सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी नाइन बाय एट सो दिस इज अ रिक्वायर्ड आंसर दिस इज यू पी एफ गेटिंग सो सी क्वेश सोल्यूशन इज ओवर सिंस दे हैड आस ओनली यू पी एफ बट इन द सेम वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट एल पी एफ ऑल्सो इन एल पी एफ वॉट वी डू इंस्टेड ऑफ सुप्रीमम वी कंसिडर मिनिमम वैल्यू गेटिंग सो इंस्टेड ऑफ सुप्रीमम वी टेक अ इनफीमम एंड वी सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन द सेम वे सो इन दैट वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट एल पी एफ सो वी विल स्टॉप हियर मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट ओके देन वी विल स्टॉप थैंक यू बाय बाय